This lecture is about the nervous system. Imagine while you are working, and spider walk over your hand. You recognize it, and responding in a very short time. But what was really happened? Well, spider is considered as the stimulus from outside world. You receive this stimulus by your touch receptors, which are connected to your sensory nerves, which also known as afferent. Afferent means, dort. This messages will reach to your brain, and your brain does the integration, and prepare a message and send it to your muscles through efferent or motor neurons. Efferent means away from. The muscles receive the message and do the proper response. So in brief, the receptors responded to the stimulus and sent it toward the brain by efferent or sensory neurons, the brain did the analyses and sent a message to muscles by efferent or motor neurons, for proper response. Since you were aware of all these processes, we categorize it as somatic nervous system. But sometimes, we are not aware of such a process between our nerves and our brain. For example after eating an apple, when it enters your stomach, the response as producing acid, is not in our control. Such a process, is a function of autonomic nervous system. Sympathetic, and parasympathetic are two divisions of autonomic nervous system. We also can categorize the nervous system, based on the anatomy. Anatomically, we have central nervous system, or CNS, which contains brain and the spinal cord. And peripheral nervous system or PNS, which includes our extensions outside of CNS. In both CNS, and PNS, the major functional unit is neuron. The neuron or the nerve cell, has a body, also known as soma, with small branches called dendrites. It also have a long branch, known as axon. The connecting part of the axon to soma, is called axon hyalic. The end part of the axon is called terminal axon. The axons can be covered by myelin sheath, and in this case we know the neuron is myelinated. Axon's function is transferring an electrical message from dendrites to the axon terminal. Generally, this message will be transferred to either another neuron or a muscle fiber. The connecting part of a terminal axon to the dendrites of another neuron is called synapse. 